This is project three of Hacking with Swift, in which we'll go back to project one to add something very special to it. The structure of Hacking with Swift means we're gonna do an app, then a game, then a technique, then an app, then a game, then a technique. This is project three, which means our very first technique project. And a technique project, the idea is very much that you'll learn about components of iOS, and hopefully, and many times, go back and modify previous projects that do things they couldn't do before. In this case, you'll be learning about social media. There's a really, really fantastic component inside iOS called UI Activity View Controller, which lets you share things from your apps very quickly and easily using uh, things like Twitter and Facebook, but also AirDrop or AirPrint or you know, the, the, the saving to reading list or you name it. Very, very easy to do this kind of thing using a single controller. For this, you will need your finished project one. Please finish project one fully before continuing, and then we'll crack on from now. Remember, for more information, you can go to hackingwithswift.com. You can buy this with a book with stacks more information. You can buy the whole series of a book with even more information. You can buy this video in high resolution format. Uh, and of course, you can follow me on Twitter at two straws. So go ahead and open up project one in Xcode. As a reminder, let's press play and remind ourselves how this thing worked. It was a very, very simple program and it shows a lot of pictures uh, in their file name form, tap on one and that's the result. So it's a very, very simple project to begin with. What we want to do is add a button to this navigation bar, which lets people share the picture they can see. So if they're, if they're in this thing here, they wanna tap here and share that picture straight away, they can do. To do that, we're going to go ahead and go to detail view control Swift. It's all in code, this stuff. Then look inside view did load. You'll see the call to configure view, ignore that. And we're going to assign a right bar button item to our navigation item. A navigation item is a, a thing which describes how our view should look in the navigation bar. And this is animated for us automatically by the navigation controller, as you'll see shortly. So we're gonna write in view did load navigation item dot right bar button item, not items, item, equals new class UI bar button item. Open parenthesis, loads of options here. I want you to choose bar button system item. This uses one of the built-in system item icons, which we knew straight away. It asks which uh, system item you want. I want you to type dot action. And if you want to, you could type out the full enum. You type UI bar button system item dot and see the various possibilities. These are the ones you can use as standard. We want action. So I'll just put in dot action. Target specifies who should be told when this button is tapped? And the answer is self. We want to be told. And finally, action selector. Selector is an old school Objective C way of saying uh, a method. And it just wants a method name. So we're going to put in here quotes uh, share tapped, end quote, end parenthesis. And that creates a UI bar button item with an icon of action calling self and the method share tapped. We haven't made that yet. We'll make it in a second and puts all inside right bar button item. And if you press play now, you'll see that appear. So on the master view, nothing. On the detail view, in animates this thing. All automatically, you can sort of slide out and see it fading in and out for us. All we do is say, uh, our navigation item has that right bar button item and the controller, the navigation controller, when it's pushing and popping these views, does the rest of it for us, which is really nice. So we haven't got a share tap method yet, so let's add one now. Uh, scroll down your code till after we have this view will disappear method. That's where we're hiding the bars when they're tapped and so forth. And add a new method called func share tapped. Reminder, func, it, it means function, but functions and methods are pretty much the same thing in Swift. Few changes, but nothing to worry about realistically. At this point, anyway, we'll come back to that much later. Uh, funk share tapped. So we're going to use a new UI activity view controller to show things to share. Now in our case, we want to share our image. So we're going to say uh, let uh, uh, activity equals UI activity view controller. Open parenthesis. And you'll see 
it wants a list of activity items, a sort of array of any object here. And then application activities, array of any object, optionally, so it might not be there. In our case, we probably have nothing to share. Um, so press enter to fill that in. So I'll just put in for now, uh, open bracket, close bracket, i.e. no items. And then for the application activities, also open and close. And end the parenthesis at the end. So that, that ends that line. That creates a new UI activity view controller. And then let's present it on the screen. Oops, let's present it um, using present view controller activity, animate the true completion nil. That's all it takes to create and show a UI activity view controller. But you can see it wants to know what do you want to share? What are the items you want to have an activity for? And it customizes itself based on what you give it here. So if we were to say, actually, um, we want to put our image in there, then it would respond accordingly and say, well, we could we could put that image into the Photos app, or we could print that image, or we could put it on Twitter, or whatever you want to do. So in here, this array, you can pass multiple things. You could post multiple pictures to Facebook, whatever you want. We want to send the image that is currently inside our image view, which we called, if you remember, detail image view. So in here, we're going to write detail image view dot image. Now look carefully, you will see there it has image is a UI image question mark. It is optional. It may be there. It may not be there. We don't know. And you can't give an optional value to UI activity view controller. It's complaining. It's got no idea. It's a, okay, a terrible error message. Thanks, Swift. But it means you're trying to give me an optional thing. I don't, I don't want to resolve that for you. You figure that out. I'll do the sharing. Now, we happen to know this image actually exists because we said it ourselves. That's the point of this view controller. We're setting things here. So we're going to add an exclamation mark after image. And what that means is, please force unwrap this. We know it exists. Please just use it. Trust me, it's there. And you'll see build now succeeds. So if I press play, and we've written, what, two lines, three lines of code? You know, nothing at all. Right by button item and then these two, right? Run the code now. Then pull up a picture, go to share, and up pops this thing immediately. So mail, iCloud photo sharing, more, you know, save, assigned contact, copy, print more. This is everything required to share that fully. And if this device had Twitter set up or Facebook, they'd appear in here. And any other app that support uh, pictures would also appear in there automatically, including AirDrop. So you can AirDrop from your app immediately with just like three lines of code. That is all it takes. That is all it takes to support sharing inside your app. And I could very easily end this technique project there. We've added social media. Boom, we're done. But I want to show you a couple more things. Well, one more thing, really, in a couple of formats. Because you might say sometimes, I don't want to show this uh, sheet. I want to go straight to Twitter, straight to uh, Facebook. And you can do that also inside iOS using a different framework, different thing. It's slightly harder to use, but it's more flexible as you'll see. Uh, it's called the social framework, and it's 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 still relatively simple to use. Uh, so let's let's take these two lines of code and comment them out, pressing command and forward slash. Leave this thing in there, so it's still going to call shut up method. We're going to create a new uh, social view controller. And to do that, we're going to say, uh, let social equals sl compose view controller. Now you'll see none of this is completing. It's saying, well, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to complete that code. You have no idea what it's trying to do. It's useless, right? Nothing. Not at all. Not, not a sausage. That's because social is separate. The social framework is separate from UIKit. UIKit's one framework, which includes UI activity view controller, but does not include the social framework. It's separate. So up here, Top of your file, we say import UI kit. Above that, just write import social. And that will import the social framework that we can now use. Now, it doesn't have to go above. It can go below, realistically, if you choose to. But I'm a bit funny about making my imports alphabetically ordered. So social before UI kit. And now if you write let social equals SL compose. Aha! Now it's recognizing what we're trying to do. So I can say, well, create me a new SL Compose view controller, please. And it will say, well, great. What service type do you want? It's a string. Now, you could write, you know, Twitter. Um, please don't. Because there are some constants defined for you by iOS which you can use. 
So we want, say, Facebook. We're going to write SL service type. Boom. Facebook, Cena Weibo, Tencent Weibo, and Twitter. Let's choose Facebook. And now we can configure that with some information, much more than we could do with the UI activity view controller. We could say for this thing, social dot set initial text to be hello world by my app. Whatever you want. Uh, it's called set initial text because of course users can then edit that text to be uh, don't buy us app, it sucks, but you know, well, you will give them a good start at least. We can then add things to it. We could say social dot add image. It takes a UI image again. So we can just say, well, let's do uh, detail image view dot image exclamation mark to unwrap it forcefully. Uh, you can add a URL. You could say, listen, I want to link to uh, my website here. This uses a new data type here called NS URL. NS next step. Um, and this is a, a fancy way of wrapping up uh, website URLs uh, rather than passing in a string. You know, you don't just say uh, HTTP colon slash 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 dot org. Um, it has to be an NS URL because NS URL not only wraps it up in a, a special data type, but it also lets you query it more intelligently. You could say, you know, what's the host? Is it HTTP or HTTPS? Uh, is there a username and password in there somewhere? So it lets you do much cleverer things. So it is beneficial. So let's make a new NS URL out of a string and then put in your website. So I'm going to use in here http colon slash slash www.photolib.noaa.gov slash nssl. That is the website for the National Severe Storm Laboratories uh, photo library where the pictures are from so it's a bit of credit here you know um so it adds uh some text it adds an image adds a url to it and then finally present view controller uh, social animated true completion nil uh, and that's that's how you construct it's far more code you know it's five lines rather than two but that's how you construct a very specific way of sharing something with precise text precise image precise url whatever you want without having to go through the, you know, what else do you want? Do you want air print? Do you want uh, airdrop or whatever? So if you try and run this now, it'll, it'll complain because I haven't got a Facebook account in the simulator, but you'll see immediately pops up Facebook with that picture uh, and that text and that link in there automatically. Uh, it even takes you to the settings page to make a Facebook um, configuration on your phone. So it's a much nicer way to say, tap share on Facebook straight away rather than having the activity view controller. But at the same time, if you do want airdrop, that's how you do it. If you want air print, uh, print that's how you do it and if you want everything in one again that's how you do it it's very very extensible as well so that's this first technique project it's been super simple which is probably a blessed relief at this point for you um, the idea of these things really is to teach you in depth about one particular aspect of ios development it will often modify an existing project to make it do something it wasn't doing very well before um, you'll see this again in the future now it's back to apps. Remember, for more information, go to hackingwithswift.com where you can buy the book for this technique project, which goes into so much more information. Plus, you can buy the whole book as a whole series for a great price, plus the high-res videos too, or find me on Twitter. I am at Two Straws.